Hello everybody, it's me, Heather, and I'm back with video number three of my extended first impression of Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, The Lifter, and The Perfector. So, let's just get right into it. Third video, this means I'm going to be applying this using a makeup sponge. I'm using a makeup sponge. I got this one at my local drugstore from Essence of Beauty. Runs about $4.99, 5 bucks. So I just squeeze that one pump. I've already gotten this wet. I've gotten the sponge wet underneath hot, well, not hot, but warm running water. And I squeeze that one pump of the foundation. I'm just kind of patting it in here. And here we go. See what we got going on. What kind of coverage we get with this. So as always, I'll start with one side of my face before moving on to the other. So we can do a little bit of comparison to see what kind of coverage we're getting. I already know that using a makeup sponge like this, and I'm using kind of a stippling kind of like, because some people like to bounce it off their face. <laughs> I think that's kind of annoying. If you're ever using one of these on somebody's faces, if you're an aspiring makeup artist and you're using a beauty blender or a makeup sponge like this on somebody's face, you might... <laughs> might want to do more of a stippling motion and just slow down a little. Don't bounce it off their face like this because if I'm sitting in your makeup chair and you're bouncing a sponge off my face, <laughs> I can guarantee you I'm probably going to say something. If for whatever reason I'm feeling apprehensive about mentioning to you the fact that I don't like the feel of you bouncing a makeup sponge off my face and I let it slide and I just continue to let you, do this, I can guarantee you that I will definitely not be calling you again or hiring you for your services. I will not be recommending you. So think about that. Remember, there's always somebody at the end of your makeup sponge or makeup brush. All right, so I'm going to stop bouncing this off my face now. So here's this side. Remember, guys, I have a natural birthmark here. So if every once in a while you guys wonder why there's a white spot on my face, this is a natural birthmark. I usually don't bother covering this up. But this also helps us to see how much coverage we're getting when we use any kind of foundation, on me anyways. So there's that side. And there's this side without. So sponge did, as usual, eat up a bit of the product. It does also shear it out. But it does apply it nicely. If you like a very sheer coverage, then a makeup sponge like this is definitely the way to go for you. If you're all about sheer coverage foundation and everything's too heavy and too cakey. So honestly, so far I am preferring to use either my fingers with this foundation or a makeup brush. To be honest, I'm honestly, to be honest, I'm honestly, this is not my favorite way to apply this. Maybe just because it's a little too sheer for me. You know, I, I do prefer medium coverage when I wear foundations. Since I often do have little blemishes and, you know, past acne that's healing. So, you know, I want to look more flawless than I do <laughs> naturally. <laughs> right? Okay, I'm going to go back to bouncing this off my face because it's my face so I can take it. I'm not going to fire myself from any makeup jobs. <laughs> okay. So I still got a little bit on my hand. I'm actually going to take the pointed part and just go right under my eyes with that just to really get in there and blend that out. So I did require two pumps to get this kind of coverage. And like I said, not my favorite way to apply this, but I think I do prefer the makeup brush or my fingers with this foundation. But it just depends on what kind of coverage you want. This is definitely the most sheer coverage I've had, I think. All right. Well, there's still the powder. I'm actually going to go ahead and apply the powder, and I'm actually going to use my beauty blender. So this is a bit wet, but I'm still just going to go in really gently and just kind of swirl that around a little. 
And now I'm just going to blend that in. And we'll do half my face first. Sorry if I'm not looking towards the camera. My mirror's over here. Whoop. So I'm looking in there. And since I got some powder on here, I'm actually going to go ahead and push that in a little. Okay, again, it's applying the powder very evenly, very sheerly, but it's warming up the foundation very nicely, I think. So here's the side without powder. Here's the side with the powder, the perfecter powder. Gotta love these names, right? Okay, and I'm just going to take this, I'm going to take the tip again and just swirl it around in there a little and just go under my eye a little. Go around my nose. Yeah, it's actually quite lovely. I do like this powder. It does warm up this foundation nicely. So, like I said originally, the color by itself tends to be a bit pink cast a little a little ashy on my complexion but then once you add the powder and just a slightly darker tone or deeper tone it does warm it up nicely okay, just about done here oops and don't forget to go under the eye, just taking the tip one final time, just rubbing that in there a little, going under my eye really good, really getting in there, going around my nose a little. Alright, so sorry, I'm still looking in my mirror, that's why I'm not looking in the camera much. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so now we've had all three applications. I've used my fingers, I've used the foundation brush, I've used a makeup sponge. Uh, my consensus on the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, the lifter, <sighs> gotta remember these names, I think this applies best for me using my fingers or a makeup brush. But to be honest, I have liked all three applications. This has applied nicely. You can use anything you want. You can use your fingers, you can use a makeup sponge, you can use a makeup brush. This is a very versatile foundation that caught me by surprise. It's lightweight, non-greasy. It keeps my skin like I'm, I may look really shiny here, but because of the lighting, I have a light like right in my face. <laughs> so you guys can see me on camera so it's not so dark. Since I have a white wall behind me, that throws off all the coloring anyway. But um, I do find that anytime I've worn this foundation in the past three times I've tried it for each of these videos, and I've kept it on throughout the day, it does have an overall matte or semi-matte finish. It's just, if there's any dewiness, it's a natural dewiness that it looks like skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. It's been very long wearing. Um, it has not clogged my pores or broken me out. I am having a little bit of a breakout, but that's because I like sweets. Anytime I eat excessive amounts of sugary foods, I break out. I'm aware of this, yet we all have our vices, and I still do it. So, But I'm happy to say I have not experienced any irritation. Um, this has not broken me out. This has not clogged my pores. But again, please check the ingredients before you try it to make sure there's nothing in here that may irritate you. Um, the powder as well has been very lightweight. It's not cakey. Um, it applies very nicely using, actually I liked using this with um, either the kind of, this kind of sponge has been very nice for applying this powder or even a, a precision blending type brush. Or blood. <sighs> precision blending sponge has been good for applying the powder. So the powder, I like it best using a sponge of some sort as opposed to a brush. Um, this, I honestly do not like it without powder though. The powder really does make, I think these two go hand in hand to be honest. Usually any foundation I wear, I'm not a big fan of following up with powder. However, with this particular foundation, I honestly am not crazy about it until I put the powder on. I feel like the powder really completes this look. If you want to try this foundation, it's definitely worth investing in the corresponding powder. Um, let me know what you guys think. Which application did you like best? Thank you for watching. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.